<clears throat> Hello, here's an ice group of Brahmins. Uh, if you're familiar with some of my videos, I video these girls the first week of February. This is new video I took April the 10th. April the 10th. Uh, the rancher has about 45 of these cows have calves now. Most of these cows are really young. I mean, most of the whole, I heard about roughly 100 head. Most of them are under five. A few of them are seven, eight year old, uh, six to eight year old cows, but most of them are under five. Um, obviously, most of these heifers did come from me, were sired by JD Hudgens Bulls. Um, they've been what they did. They had about oh, I, the last time I was at the ranch in February, it was twenty seven calves on the ground. Okay, and they exposed their bulls December from the first part of December. Hereford bulls. They were from Pied Piper and Barber Barber Hereford bulls, Barber Ranch Hereford bulls. Really good stout bulls. What I'll do basically. On this email to be this, I'll include this video, then the video I previously took in, uh, I think it was the second week of February. But these are nice females. Again, there's 45 calves on the ground. When they palpated them in November, there was, uh, basically they had, obviously they had 50 some odd breads, and now they're, you know, 40 some for now they're calved, or a few are about to calf still, a few are about to calf still. And uh, so they have, what they had then, they had some, the exposed, some, some of those young cows were open, and then they had some some heifers that were ready for bulls. So they turned out their Hereford bulls back in December, okay? And they let those, so most of these pairs will be 30 to 1. So there's some baby pairs, obviously, are not. I would think probably 15 or so of these calves are, they're, they're, they're too small, so their mom's not cycling back as of yet, but obviously will be soon. Uh, so they left the bulls out from December to the first week of April. And took them out. They're, what the thoughts are, they don't want to have any calves in the dead of winter. Obviously, if you ever calf Brahmins, you don't want to calf them out in January. When it's typically in January's and February's or, 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 or December's and February's, January's around here, typically really wet. Obviously, not this year, but normally they're wet and cold. So they wanted to calf them, have a true fall and a true calving. A true fall and a, tr a nice finger there, Clay. A true, true fall and a true uh, spring calving window. And, and so, uh, so they took the bulls off the first week of April. Their plans were to put them back on the first week of June, but they let, obviously they did leave the bulls out December and April. A nice, but functional. You see how gentle these cattle are. I took five minutes of video, and the cattle were always just were all around me. So they're really gentle cattle. Some of these calves are over 350, 400 pounds now. Again, there's 45 of these or so pairs. Uh, they're having really nice calves. Uh, the first group they had a few Brahmins. And a, and a few of these heifers were bred, a handful of blacks. But now everything's F1 Brayfords, and they're bred back F1 Brayfords. So there won't be any more Brahmins coming off these cows. Or, or again, you'll see one or two blacks in here off heifers from last year. No more blacks. The rest of these cattle will be having F1 Brayford babies. And, and the, obviously the ones that would be three to ones are bred back to really stout Pied Piper and uh, Barber Ranch Hereford Bulls. A nice group of these girls, these girls are in Monroe City, which is near Beaumont, Texas. Jim Lange, one ranch in Bramers. Uh, again, they're young. I mean, a few of these cattle are six to eight years old, but most of these girls are, you know, from, from heifers to four-year-olds. So they're super young. Majority of these girls are sired by Hudgens bulls and commercial Brahmin cows. Again, I took five minutes of video, so you have enough idea, uh, enough opportunity to really view the cattle, not just a couple of snapshots. So... It, they're again they're they're coastal cattle down there. This guy's a rice farmer and obviously he's uh getting busy planting rice and whatnot. So he decided to sell these uh Brahma cows. They're nice cattle. Jim Lads, you want them. Uh, obviously I didn't have a sack of cubes, I acted like I did, so they come right to me. Gentle females, lots of good productive deer selected in these girls. And again, the gentleman did own does own powerful herford bulls. He did take the girls off. The first week of April, but from December to April, these stout Hereford bulls uh, were with these females. So lots of these these cattle will be three to ones. I would think when I looked at the herd of these hundred, probably sixty of these girls will be fall calvers. So, so a nice group of ladies. These girls, lots of production years left them years left in them, and as gentle as you want them. Nice group of purebred Brahmins in Monroe City. I'm Clay the Hobbits. Give me a call about these fine, hard to find ladies in Monroe City. Have a great day.